I'm just reading this headline here that is written on this piece of paper mm -hmm. by Boston Connor this morning. Mm -hmm. Lou Holtz sent Brian Kelly several letters mm -hmm. over his Notre Dame tenure <laughs> to no response. Yep. I, this must have slipped through the cracks in the group text. Sports Illustrated is reporting. While talking to reporters this past week, Lou Holtz shared that while Brian Kelly was at the helm, he wrote him several letters over his tenure as coach. Unfortunately, Holtz said, he never got a response. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> Um, um, obviously, we gotta well, go. Well, well, <laughs> Looks like I wasn't fibbing when I said that Brian Kelly was a big old piece of shit. He <laughs> writes this guy letters and try to tell him, hey, this is exactly what you need to do if you want to be a successful coach at Notre Dame. Okay, he didn't fucking respond to me once. You know how long it takes me to write these goddamn handwritten letters? I'm not typing them on the Macintosh. I'm not typing them on the Dell. I'm dipping my ink in the quill, and I'm writing these handwritten letters. And what does he do? He says, hey, you know what, Lou? I won't write you a letter, but I'll send some kid into a cherry picker with 85-mile-an-hour winds, and I'll kill him. And then guess what? I still won't write you a letter back. He can apologize, oh, but it doesn't matter because oh. Notre Dame's in the right spot. We got Marcus Freeman with 17 point underdogs at Ohio State. And I wouldn't be surprised if Brian Kelly gets run out of LSU because before too long, the boosters down there are going to find out what I found out. And that's that he's a big old steaming bag of shit. <laughs> Coach, isn't it a chance that you with those handwritten letters that he never got them? He was just checking his email? No, you kidding me? If I fucking write a letter, it's getting on the head coach's desk, okay? You think, you think Charlie Weiss never got my handwritten letters and Tyrone Willingham? Those guys always wrote back to me. Always. Oh, shit. with bacon in those letters. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. That's your buddy Brady Quinn, okay? He knows I wrote a letter before every single Notre Dame home game. Had it in his locker. What did you say about the game where you're taking on your future brother-in-law, A.J. Hawk? Well, I said, good luck, Brady. Hopefully you play like a guy like Carlisle Holiday. I'm sure you remember him. He was a great quarterback at Notre Dame. Led them to a lot of success. Of course, you know, Brady, unfortunately, they had good seasons, and they got their asses beat in every single big post-game bowl. Whoa. And we all remember the other LSU Sugar Bowl was that Marcus Russell or whatever the hell his name was. He threw it all over the football field. And then AJ and the Ohio State Buckeyes picked the shit out of Notre Dame in the Fiesta Bowl. Did you see the documentary about Manti Teo? Seems like a really good guy that the world yeah. you know what? really was rude to. Manti's a sweet kid, okay? And I'm sick and tired. Sick and tired of everybody getting on him and making him feel like he wasn't a sweet kid because he was such a sweet kid. <laughs> Everything that you want out of a student athlete at Notre Dame, he wasn't Catholic, which I don't love, but <laughs> he's a sweet kid and he really got misrepresented in that. I still feel oh, bad shit. for man time. Did you write him a letter when all that shit came up? Once again, I couldn't write him a letter because he's not Catholic. If he was Catholic, I would have, but he's Mormon and I don't know about his religion as much as I do about the Catholic religion, touchdown Jesus, all that kind of stuff. But no, you know, I just, again, I feel bad because Man Ty was such a good player. He was the highest rated linebacker recruit Notre Dame ever had, you know, and just look at him now. He's, a, he's just a sad oose on a beach down in Hawaii. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did you say sad oose? <laughs> Oh, my God, Coach Holtz, I did not know you had <laughs> Oos in the repertoire. Yeah, come, of course. How do you think I recruited? We got some bad Oos's in my time. <laughs> 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 Offensive, defensive line. I, I stole a couple of them from SC and BYU and all those places. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, I'll tell you, I did not expect that today. That's why as soon as I saw it on the sheet, I was fucking pumped. <laughs> I was like, is this real or is this not? Yeah. It is real. Very real. Yeah. I mean, that goes into literally Oh yeah. I was, this bit. What's he supposed yeah. to write back? I was grinning ear to ear when I saw that oh, yesterday. Oh, my God. Well, Thank you, on. baby. Jesus. Golly. What if it was typewriter? I thought you were going to. Could that's... have been. What if Lou never put a stamp on it and it never got sent? <laughs> <All of those laughs> on. What if he doesn't know how to work? 
Federal Express, dude. It's well, also you- possible that he never wrote the letters and he's misremembering. <laughs> 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 Come on. I hope that's not the case. <laughs> we all do. He was a great magician on television. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's a great coach on television. Great coach on the football field. Oh, yeah. And obviously, great lawyer in the courtroom. Everything that's happening there, we're just trying to <coughs> potentially how it did go down. Exactly. Thank you, Coach Lou Holtz. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, Coach, Coach Lou. Lou. He's introed a few presidents, hasn't he, for rallies yeah. and stuff? Presidential <laughs> medal. <of freedom. laughs> I don't know about a few, but... Oh, fuck. How do you even go on from that? Cup one, damn it. <laughs> he should still be president and it's not fair. All right, so that is... Yeah, that is <laughs> obviously... He did say that. He did say that, actually. Think. Him and Bob. Oh, shit. Richie? Yes. That's a hell of a song. That's a hell of a song. Unbelievable. Everybody... We've given out some misinformation on today's program. We when? would like to let everybody know that that was not actual Coach Lou Holtz. Oh, no. Just a couple moments ago. What? Everybody needs to know that that was not Coach Lou Holtz. And those are not actual quotes from Coach Lou Holtz. Like Ty does for Coach Sirianni, mm-hmm. those are actual quotes. Correct. Coach Lou Holtz, you take a little bit more creative liberties, yeah. it does feel yeah, like. Yeah, but we can never be so sure. <laughs> what? Yeah, we can be. Well, I, like I said, I've kind of been saying this for quite some time now, and then boom, what do you know? He does think Brian Kelly's a piece of shit. Let's go to some phone calls. I think that's the only way to really change the subject here. <laughs> let's go to... Uh, That'd be tough for Coach to admit that. Like, hey, I, I poured my heart out and wrote all these letters, and I got nothing back. How many? At what point do you stop writing a letter? He said to, it was nine. He wrote nine of them? Yeah. So after the first six, he goes, all right, lucky number seven. Yeah. He's the one. Well, I don't know. Maybe this son of a bitch will get back to me eventually. If I do lucky number seven or eight, maybe he will. Six isn't enough. Is nine enough? Is 18 enough? Is 27 enough? <laughs> what will it take to get this son of a bitch to respond to me? Did you reference all the other letters prior in each letter that you, for the eighth time, uh, I am writing you? Do you oh. think he was reminded of that or no? Uh, maybe. I mean, or he probably just said like, hey, listen, pal, I'm going to give you one more opportunity to respond to me. Otherwise, I'm going to the AD. And guess what? I'm going to let every, everybody know you did kill that kid, okay? You did. Not only that, you're a piece of shit on the sidelines. I see you yelling. I see you screaming. I see you. You're not very Christian, okay? And what's that all about? I thought it was Luther King. He's the greatest Catholic institution in the United States. You're saying this did potentially happen? I think so. All right. Let's yeah. go to the folks. That, no other show has that. No. No, no, no. no. Hey, do the... Do the uh, do the Pat McAfee show thing. Okay. Are you going to have that? I mean, 